Welcome back once again, Spazites, to another LEGO video review. Today we have the LEGO City set, uh, the Ocean Exploration Submarine, set number 60264, consisting of approximately 286 pieces. Uh, this set is um, licensed by, I'm not sure... Uh, as you see down here before, we have an official National Geographic stamp down here on the bottom. Uh, I want to say this set was... Uh, uh, I'm not sure why... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, this, this review has gotten off to a great start. <laughs> we do have three minifigures, at least one named minifigure, Jessica Sharp with an E at the end here and uh yeah let's uh let's go ahead and get on into the review so here we have uh, a bunch of transformers <laughs> try to ignore those we're gonna scroll down and bring all of our set in closer here so there we go so we've got our set here <clears throat> here is our I think I said Jessica Sharp minifigure. Um, she gets a uh, little headband, only one side. And she is the actual pilot of the submer... Oh, wait, no. We already have a pilot in here. There are four minifigures. Uh, where the heck is she supposed to sit, then? Hmm. I didn't see four minifigures on the box. Let me double check here. <laughs> um, yeah, I only see three minifigures. Where did that, where did that extra minifigure come from? Oh, there is another minifigure inside the submarine. Uh, I guess this you can lay someone in the back here. I guess <laughs> we do have uh, this little drone here, little submarine drone that can scoop stuff up and carry things. And that clips on right here like this. And then I believe it's supposed to just go in there like that, I think. <laughs> but now we've got a minifigure in there and I'm not sure... Well, it doesn't stop that from going in there any further. So, yeah, I'm not sure. Randy built this one. So, <laughs> this is actually the first time I played with it. Oh, geez. Okay, the whole roof just came off. I guess we could take a closer look at everything. We do have a little research thing in there. A little uh, printed brick. Or is that a sticker? I think that's a sticker. It looks off-center. If it was printed, I don't think it would be off-center. But yeah, we do have a brick in there. With a little uh, thing. Let's put the uh, roof back on here. <laughs> and we have four moving turbines to make the submarine move around. We do have these cool rubber band grabbers on movable arms that are jointed, a ratchet joint, a ratchet joint. So we've got, they can move around three different things. I uh, can't move the grabber hands around otherwise. <clears throat> so yeah, that's cool though. I like that. We've got some cool details down here. We've got some pontoons here. And like I said, this thing actually connects up to the the set as a whole. Oh, wait, I think I know what I did wrong. Okay, so if you put it in like that, there we go. So I had to uh, guide it in flat for it to. Oh, no. <laughs> wow, I'm just screwing up this video review, aren't I? <laughs> wow. Okay, this is why I, I only have 
five and a half hundred <laughs> viewers so far. Oh, well, before, let's, let's get this train wreck done with. <laughs> oh, we've got this figure. We've got that figure driving. We've got this figure here, another female figure. That's cool. Uh, she has got a lot of lights and an underwater metal detector. And uh, I love this element for these underwater helmets here. And, I mean, sometimes they're used as space space helmets as well. But I just I love how useful they are. And then here we have another... Oh, an underwater photographer. I like that. That's really cool. Let's look at his face. Uh, I really like his glasses and his face. He's just a happy guy. Oh, he gets a secondary head, a terrified head. I really like that. <laughs> I wish that they were actually focusing. I wish my phone would focus up some more. Let's see if the uh, other one here has a terrified face. Oh, she's winking. That doesn't look terrified, but she is winking. Come on, focus. There we go. And then... Uh, I'm not going to take him out of his seat just because. <laughs> last but not least, our last big accessory here is the underwater reef that comes with a glow-in-the-dark fish. Yes, glow-in-the-dark. Um, let me see if he's seen enough light. I'm going to go ahead and pause really quick and turn off all my lights and see if we can uh, see him glow. And there it is. And that is really cool to see him glow like that. <laughs> the lights aren't completely off. But you could definitely see he is glowing. Oh, that side wasn't exposed to the light long enough. But yeah, that is really cool. This is a cool fish. Let's turn our lights back on here. I really like that. <laughs> I love glow-in-the-dark pieces and stuff like that. So that's always really cool. Um, he is attached to this arm so that he can shoot out of a cage and surprise. And it's actually got some movement here, so you can actually give it some... Rawr, I'm going to get you. A couple of crabs on here. Some, uh, some of these newer coral pieces uh, that I think were created for this set. Obviously some seaweed. There's a cool crystal down there. Power Miner's crystal and another one right here. And uh, you can see here's his tunnel. And he hides in there. So, raw, raw. I like that. <laughs> I wish this was a 3D camera. Raw, <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I really like this set. This was uh, a fun set. Like I said, Randy built this set. Um, I'm kind of envious. I, I wanted to do the underwater sets because they remind me of the Atlantis sets that I build, which, uh, I will be doing more Atlantis videos here soon. Um, I've got the whole first series of Atlantis built and, uh, they're just on the shelves collecting dust right now. I need to get around to, uh, doing them. I haven't been doing as many Lego sets as I have been to Transformers, so, uh, I don't know. I've been kind of in a funk lately, as I've said in a few videos recently. Uh, I think I'm slowly coming out of it. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you like this video, please comment down below. If you didn't like it, feel free to comment as well. But please be nice. That's my whole mantra is be kind. Uh, yeah, if you, like, if you really like this video and you're not already, please subscribe. It'll help me grow my channel, and I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, as usual, be kind. Happy hunting, and goodbye. Don't forget to wash your hands. And if you feel it's necessary to do so when you go outside, please still wear a mask. I'm fully vexed, so I've finally uh, stopped wearing the mask. It's been over two weeks since I got my second shot, and uh, I feel comfortable enough to not wear a mask. A lot of the restrictions are being lifted in our area anyway, so... Yeah, fingers crossed we're uh, nipping this thing in the bud finally. Anyway, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.